it's taste pink and i am so ready to do this video because this is like new wig new me yes you see me in my dusty wig cap please don't take any shots i could not find my nude or my newer wig caps for the life of me so i just had to settle because i wanted to use a brown color as opposed to nude so don't don't drag me please like don't drag me so this wig review today is going to be from it's a wig and i'm so excited it's the unit called mita now i did google search to figure out how you say this name because i did not want to butcher it by any means so hopefully the name is mita and i'm saying it correct uh, mita so to get into it as you can see i've parted my hair so that there is a left side part because i want the bang to fall on the right side of my face and here she is this is the color tt30 as you can see it has that pronounced dark root and it transitions into the color 30 it has that nice gradient it's not abrupt at all that was one of the issues that i had with a previous unit from it's a wig and this one is very different the color is beautiful and the texture it doesn't feel anything like a yaki but it's very dense um, I don't want to you know pull apart the curls too much because this has like the flat wrap ribbon or barrel curl if you're familiar and I definitely want to make sure that I keep that curl definition intact because it might have a bit of frizz if I mess with it too much and so let's put her on So right off the bat, I can tell you I am in love with this unit. I feel so classy, so elegant. It gives me like a very classic look and I love that. So I just, okay, I don't even know where to begin. I just feel like a new woman. Like I don't even, I don't even want to identify as Taste Pink on YouTube anymore. I don't, who am I? But this is so beautiful. The curls, the way that they lay, like the way that they're framing my face. Do you see that? So to get into the good, the bad. So right off the bat, I noticed that the part, it's a little bit dense. And even though it seems like a deep inset part and you get quite a bit of parting space, about three and a half to four inches. And it's even like a nice angle, which is perfect for a more natural feel. It just seems a little bit bulky. Um, you know how sometimes you get that gaping type of space in your uh, unit? That is what I'm getting right here. And maybe it's because this unit, it has a, you know, a nice cap construction in that it can accommodate a larger head size. But I think maybe that additional space is kind of causing that bulky look along with the parting space being so densely packed. Now they did try to give you a bit of space in between to create a more natural part, but I don't know somewhere towards the front of the part as you can see they did like this different type of stitching and whereas the hair near that area should thin out it seems like it got a bit thicker and the hair was just a, a bit more mangled not mangled but like just packed more in that general area and I didn't understand it so I had to go in and tweeze it and as you can see I'm tweezing the part and I'm kind of wrapping the hair around my finger as well as using tweezers to just pluck out as much hair as possible I think this is so gorgeous and the cap construction you get your standard you know combs in the front they have a comb just near the parting space and they have combs at the nape along with adjustable straps and I kept the you know prongs of the adjustable straps at the farthest end because I want to you know have a more comfortable fit and maximize my comfort when I'm wearing it and it feels great I have a large head and it's a wig their units are big head friendly I have a circumference of about 23 and a half so that should let you know that this wig means business the hair is not too thick it is not anywhere like a yakky texture but it does have a nice density and thickness to it and it has a lot of body as you can see nice movement nice luster so natural looking and I'm giving you guys natural light so you can see how this hair looks when the sunlight hits it 
and I love the color. It works so well with my complexion right now and I have on my, my golden bronze tan so I'm feeling it like to the nth degree. And I definitely, definitely, I didn't even put any concealer, any powder in the part because girl, I, I just don't feel like, you know, it, it really probably doesn't even need it. Like this hair slays like off the bat and I went on a whim and got this. And I didn't know I would feel so gorgeous, so Hollywood. Like, that's how I feel. I feel like young Hollywood. Like, young Hollywood. So, this is definitely a perfect night out. Night out with Bay, Night out with the girls. Or you just want to look super cute corporate. This is, this is corporate, honey. So, I hope you guys are interested. If you are, check out your local beauty supply store. As per usual, it's a wigs unit. They allow you to put heat anywhere from like 350 degrees to 400 degrees but you know i don't put heat on my units especially synthetic units because i like to preserve them for as long as possible i'm not saying it's impossible i just don't do it so check out your local beauty supply store and i'll even link some online stores down below if you all are interested because girl you got to get this this is gorgeous and their color range is to die for like ugh, i gotta go i gotta go I need to pose for some pictures okay i hope you guys enjoyed if you like this video thumbs up for this review i have more coming in the future and subscribe if you want to stay in tune and you want to know what's going on in the wig crochet protective style community girl i got you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one